let's dig a bit into international SEO. For us, it's relevant as we are uh, sometimes working with uh, e-commerce stores which are targeting different countries, sometimes different languages without one country. And we need to ensure that uh, we use the all potential from a SEO perspective what such uh, internal, international structure of the website can offer us. And for that, we need to understand the concept of Kreflang. It's a tag which uh, helps to guide Google to different versions of the website and uh, helps to Google to understand which website is meant for each country. Uh, why it's important? Uh, for example, one case uh, that if you want to buy something from Aden and Anai uh, website, it's a brand which is selling uh, uh, different uh, swaddles and baby blankets, etc., some different baby stuff. So if you want to purchase something from the website and we are just like looking for uh, for brand, Normally, we would, wouldn't would look into URL, we would just simply click on the first URL we see. So basically, first result, and we just click on it. So what is important in this case? That actually, uh, Google brought us specifically to Euro website version. And we can safely navigate here and actually make a purchase while being in... Uh, um, in Riga and everything will be working perfectly for us. How it's achieved? Because this is not the most uh, standard version of the um, Aden and Anai website. And even though this is Euro, like there is .co.uk uh, domain name, so it's very, uh, you, would, you would say, UK-specific. However, this one, this store view with Euro was meant for Europe, so for us. So it's not that Google, Google is smart, but it's not so smart to understand that this part is meant that, hey, guys, please show this only for uh, your Europe, which is not uh, UK. No, it's not working like that, unfortunately, yet. In this case, we need to help Google a bit. So how we can do that? We can do that by implementing uh, Reflang in code. So if we are looking for Reflang, here it is. As you can see, there are three lines containing Reflang. One is saying that there is an um, English version for Great Britain. This is the same what we, what we are opening just without Euro. Then there is United States version ending with .com. And there is X default or version which should be open if you are not from United States or Great Britain. So it applies also for Latvia, any place in the world which is not matching these two countries. Then that's what we are getting, this one. What is important that this should show alternatives. So we saw the... Um, like batch batch of reflangs for the home page, but completely same. We should have for each internal page. So see, there is Great Britain version and X default version. Blankets, blankets. Might be that like uh, com version doesn't simply has such. Uh, such URL. So that's why we have two here. So that's what helps us to make sure that Google knows 
which URL should be displayed where. Uh, next thing, uh, we can have almost identical um, content. For example, if we are tackling uh, Latvia and Lithuania with different story views, we might have like almost identical page. Maybe some prices a bit different, but maybe even prices would be the same. In this specific case, in one version of the uh, store, we have euros. Another store, we have pounds as currency. But we might also have completely, mm, or not at least completely, but quite different content speaking, like defining some um, different products, uh, different descriptions, uh, pictures. So it might actually differ quite a lot. Uh, that's why actually, if we look um, in code, we see that besides uh, reflang, there's present also canonical. It might be a bit confusing, but actually it's quite simple. So if Hreflang um, is showing us alternative versions of the same URL, but only country or language specific, then canonical is consolidating URLs within the same store view. That means that they both can operate at the same time. And I still might add here some random parameter. So basically it will be completely another URL but within um, Great Britain store view, I wouldn't have reflangs, but here I would have canonical pointing to the original version. And when Google would go to this one and only consolidated URL, it would see that, okay, for UK, this is the main one. But we have also for non-UK one, this one, the main one. Um, sometimes Hreflang is not enough. So for Google to understand uh, uh, which store view um, is meant for what. And now let's review another example of our own project, international project, buff.com. Buff is quite known brand. So let's imagine that we are in Google specifically looking for buff bandanas. We are browsing from Latvia. And what we are seeing, okay, there are two results. And we are just maybe randomly opening the first one. Going here, oh, bandana. Viewing product, we like it. I'm buying it now. And what is the tricky part? So we have already added it to the cart. Uh, we'll proceed to checkout. And at some point we'll realize that we actually cannot make a purchase uh, because of the very simple reason. Because we are not in Latvian store view, but we landed in Great Britain store view. Why it happened? If we look in code, and look for our favorite Reflon, we can actually see it's here. And compared to Aden, where we had only very few, 
preference. Here is like quite endless amount of preference. And among them actually is also a lot view. So here you can see it. Here, 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 here. So actually, what we should be seeing in results, in the first results, should be this website. Actually, this store view with this specific URL key matching our country so that we can safely check out. But what is the case here? And this is something, unfortunately, quite a lot of store views are facing. Uh, and quite a lot of known brands are facing, for example, ASOS, Zara, etc., etc., because they have a separate store view for almost each country, but they have not translated it. So it ends up in the situation when you can have 20, 30, 40 store views in English. And there can be two things. One thing is that when you upload products, uh, there might be some delays. And for example, in both, their Hreflans sometimes might appear during the next day or like just with some gap of few hours. And if Google crawls the website and doesn't see Hreflans right away, so we were lucky to see them, but there might be cases where there is slight delay. So Google cannot catch this interaction between the pages. And it leads to the situation that uh, uh, wrong pages appear in the index. Another thing is when you're having so many copy-paste websites or uh, directories and all of them are in English and completely not localized because if we open, let's open, we have here Estonia, here we have Great Britain. So basically nothing has changed. Those are copy paste. So Google at some point is just picking the one which has more, uh, most backlinks or better internal linking and just highlights specifically that one and might ignore Reflang. That's why uh, besides making sure that you have Hreflang, it's quite important also do some uh, localized um, localization efforts. For example, here you can actually see that there is both UK added. So for some people, it actually might be as uh, indicator that this is United Kingdom website. Uh, so this is in progress at the moment, like implementing this uh, localization. But obviously it takes a lot of efforts because you it's like endless job to translate all store views. And uh, it's pretty complicated. And in general, international SEO is considered as quite complicated topic and complex topic. And it's a lot about correct structure of the website and uh, correct approach to uh, correct approach to server level redirects, GOP redirects, um, domain name usage. So definitely I would recommend uh, communicating with a SEO team whenever you are um, working with uh, international website with focus on SEO. Uh, regarding buff case, so there are quite a lot of tasks in progress, which in long term should improve the situation. But still, uh, there might be cases when wrong pages are shown in the results like this. So in these cases, we just would need to make sure that there is uh, some pop-up appearing and saying, hey, seems that you are browsing from Latvia. Maybe you should switch to store view. So kind of give these hints to people to make sure that they are uh, not disappointed when they actually cannot make the purchase. So there are actually some workarounds in this case. Currently, uh, Buff is not having them, though. Um, let's see one more example. So going beyond our uh, projects and looking for some international one. Let's go to asos.com 
and just cross check that it also follows the same patterns. And actually, we have uh, I have automatically been redirected to France version as I previously visited it, and we can see that um, oh yeah, this is also is quite 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 international one. And if we look in the code, here again we should see already known tag, which is called Hreflang. But you see it's like there were quite a lot of store views, but uh, uh, only a few of them seem to have uh, Hreflangs. Um, however, it seems that they have highlighted the most important ones. Uh, it's known that previously Asus also had an issue with people landing uh, on the wrong uh, websites at the end. So you can see that they have actually also quite few in um, quite few in English. So there might be some uh, complexity for Google to understand which website is from which. But okay, we have landed on France website. Here it is. This Hreflang. And if we would be a Google bot, what we would do next, we would see this links and it would give us indicator. Okay, so this is a landing for women in English. And this one, for example, is a landing for United States. Then Google would cross check code again and see if there is this inter uh, interlinking. So again, I see that, yes. Well-known websites uh, also are widely using Hreflang tag. And here we have example of uh, Zara.com. And if we go to the code and look for Hreflang, We can see that there is um, quite a lot of cases, 194 Hreflangs, which cover different countries. And quite often for the same country, they have language, different language versions. For example, for Belgium, there are three. Uh, even for Belarus, there is uh, Belarusian and Russian. So. Uh, quite uh, localized experienced and personalized experience for different uh, customers is provided. Um, at the same time, page itself is quite similar. So if we will go here to Bosnia-Herzegovina, So basically, it's the same page. Um, Google might understand that it's different one is it's like actually language is different, but we noticed that we have a lot of versions of uh, English. So that might be a bit confusing. For example, if I'm looking for uh, Zara Woman and one note that currently I'm using Canadian uh, VPN. So... I'm browsing from Canada, and if I'm looking for Zara, Zara Woman, uh, I actually see in the first results Zara United Kingdom, Zara United Kingdom, and uh, Zara.com. It's related to the fact that uh, some um, store views in English might have more backlinks, older history. That's why they're outranking the local ones. So Google is kind of ignoring, unfortunately, these Hreflangs. Obviously, it's uh, for uh, e-commerce clients, it might cause, again, not so nice experience. So I'm from Canada. I want to just like look for Zara Woman. I'm uh, ending up here. And as you can see, that what is really cool that Zara gives me a pop-up and softly guides me to, hey, you are from, uh, 
you are accessing United Kingdom website, but um, there is actually a website for Canada which matches my VPN, so basically my IP address. So I can actually choose which one is more suitable for me. That's a great way how to uh, avoid cases when HREFLANG is not working 100% uh, as uh, it's very important not to force 301 redirects and not to force users to uh, country-specific uh, store view. So you can't force redirect to Canada but you can softly guide users there.